go to the image folder but we can put the image later uh, now we have to specify in the template and layout and also uh, inside the layout you know, let's say we I will assign for the English one I have to open theme.xml edit and here I have to do the final customization I can copy the simple one for example find okay copy this template go and and paste here change the name adv adv advanced and for example also the image name will be like this but at this moment maybe it is not available because I have to copy this image in the image folder anyway I can make a copy from here image so this is we can copy this and rename with uh, TS simple ADV okay now if I if I want to see no now I will show you something for customize the theme if you want to customize something for for example if I open SharePoint designer and if you go to your uh, site then you will see one folder underscore theme here you will find the file for customization so if I open this uh, this file contains the all configuration for current application themes so now I have to know what I have to what I we can change for example if you see for the uh, top header there is no color so for example in my custom theme in my custom simple theme I mean simple advanced theme we can change this color so first we have to know the class name we, we can uh, we know that it is in the default master page and in the default master page you can uh, get the name of the class name for example if I s select here and uh, if we go up then you will find uh, one class name this is a class name this class is used for making this la layout customization for example press control and go inside this so you can find that this css class is using for making a css style for this page and here you can see the background color and if i customize this a little for example f1 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 and if i see uh, there is a little change maybe you it is not visible for example if i try to do something more uh, nine nine zero 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 okay for example this is our customization and if I customize this custom header background so this is if I customize and save this one this is only for customization on this 
workspace I mean if for this side so if I want to make a uh, this customization with the theme or my custom theme then you have to open the CSS theme dot CSS class from uh, your theme inside theme uh, and inside theme uh, simple advanced you will find theme class and if you you have to open this in your SharePoint designer then you can find uh, your class for example it was global bread crumb So if I change the same thing here and save it, it should be assign if I make a restart for is restart and it should be affected for this thing. For example, I close this one and if I now if we go to the site and if I see the site theme you we should find that there is a simple advance and if I apply this theme I should get this one but if I apply the simple one then you see there is no color so for better reflection we have to s reset the IIS it is restarting ok now We should see if we refresh then I should see simple advance here themes sorry I have to close this because and assign my custom theme simple advance since I use the same uh, image for simples that's why is the image is the same but if I change the theme then it should be changed and if I open SharePoint designer we should get the simple advance instead of simple and I will show you the changes effect on the specific file of CSS that I customized before in the theme.css of simple advance uh, it's taking time to open uh, let's show it uh, be patient a little bit I'm sorry for my low system okay it's arrived simple advance okay now if I open this specific file you will see let's uh, search with uh, okay so my custom header background code is available so in this way you can customize your theme and you can create a new theme with the existing one and so on and you can do more customers it is just uh, the basic one basic customer you can do more customization for your site and thank you to watch my lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson bye